So today is 28th of April, year 2022, and uh, I am here in a microcrime in Beijing under lockdown. So if you watch my previous video, I um, had some contents about the lockdown that we are currently experiencing here in uh, in this microcrime and sorry microcrime. Um, the, today I will give you some updates and the rather additional information on this lockdown and uh, on the policy. So actually, this is very. I would say the Chinese here is very sneaky. So they um, they have the policy goes like this. Okay. So if you, if you look at the government records, they would say that my Michael Ryan are not under lockdown. So people are actually uh, they can go out, but still they cannot leave the whole area. However. It is by the hospital because, as I mentioned before, uh, my Michael Ryan is actually a part of the hospital. It's like a, a residential area of a hospital. So, according to the hospital, we are not allowed to leave. So, which means that we will not be given any food, either by the government or by the Michael Ryan because we are not under lockdown according to them but we cannot leave we cannot leave the area and shop for food so that's the that's the fact that we are facing and that may one day lead to shortage of food and grocery um, but so far that's uh, the fourth day of, lock, uh, of the lockdown so um, I would say the conflict is brewing. So, so today there are a couple of people, um, as you can see, gathering here at the gate. Um, some of them are actually uh, telling the police there is a police officer there. So some of them are telling them uh, on their fe fellow residents that they have uh, the proper ID to leave this Michael Ryan, but they went somewhere else. They did not, uh, you know, go to where they're supposed to, to go. So now uh, here we are. There's some, uh, well, someone bought a wheelchair online. So still, some of us can still uh, shop online for for some goods, but uh, by experience, it's very difficult. It's very difficult to actually have them delivered. Um, I have something delivered, that's what I um, uh, bought earlier online, so, so that's why I'm here actually, uh, I'm here to claim my, my, my package, and uh, I, I saw this, so I'm bringing this footage to you, but still that's um, it is hilariously ridiculous, I'd say, the lockdown uh, policies here. That, um, well, still, I, I don't know where this will go. So, as you can see, some people with uh, particular ID, proper uh, ID, they can go out. And uh, this area is not locked down by the government standard because there is no active COVID case inside of this neighborhood, inside of this micro rain. But um, many people, including myself, we uh, don't have the proper ID. Um, we cannot go out, we cannot shop for food. We cannot leave this year. And I did the uh, calculation earlier, some measurements, that the area um, currently I and many others, I would say thousands of others, are confined to. Uh, this area is about 60, kilom uh, sorry, 60 square kilometers. It's a 
300 meters by 200 which makes I believe this area 6, 60 km, square kilometers so that's the area I am um, currently confined to it's like a big, big prison so this whole city is like a big prison Now let's zoom in to the police. The one um, in dark blue hat. And glasses, wearing a, wearing a mask. These are the door, door persons, door guards. Okay, thank you for watching.